Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum students. I really hope that you all doing great. Okay, today we will continue our discussion for tutorial. Okay, uh, you can check check uh, my previous videos where I have discussed first a 15 question. Okay, and now we will discuss the remaining question mostly uh, that involve a uh, log, eh, log topic. Okay, so please check it check it out the previous uh, videos and make sure eh, you make an attempt and try all the questions that are given to you okay so let's uh, share my screen now okay so just now some of the student asked uh, question 7 uh, sorry 18b okay Okay, if you look at the screen now, 18B, you are given loan. Eh? Okay, maybe this is something new for you because uh, you, you are dealing with loan function, but it is actually the same. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, yes, great. miss. Okay, thank you. All right, if you see my screen for 18B, okay, so um, same, eh? loan is basically log base E, so you can change to that, okay, and once you change to base E, you can straight away uh, use the properties of log. When you have log M minus log N, what you do? When it is minus, it will be divide, eh? so the function will be divide log base E, 3x plus 2 over x minus 4. And then equals to upper, equals to 1 for the right-hand side. Okay, next. When you have base E, you change log properties to index. Uh, how do you do that? How do you change log properties to uh, log to index? So if you have, for example, log A base B equals to x. So it will be A remain B to the power of X. The base in log is the base in the in index. Okay, ini adalah bentuk log, ini adalah bentuk index. Okay, ini base dekat log, B ini adalah base pada in index. So same goes to what we did here. Base E, when you change log to index, it becoming E to the power of one. So basically anything to the power of one will result the same thing, E. Okay. So and then you cross multiply. Okay. And then you rearrange because you want X. So your answer will be negative 4E minus 2 over 3 minus E. Okay. Is it clear for you? Clear tak sayang? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. So right after this, whenever you see loan, you jangan takut. You are allowed to implement all the log properties. Same goes to the loan. Eh, ah, tak ada masalah. Okay. Ah, all right. Okay. Now let's move further. Let's look at this type of example uh, a, a question eh? given that log 3 is um, uh, log 3 base 2 1.585 and then log 5 base 2 adalah ini so you nampak dekat sini adalah the base that are given to you adalah base 2 so obviously you have to change all this question into base 2 okay what properties of log that you might use Okay, you have log A base B equals to log A over log B. Okay, ah, uh, itu kalau you letak dia as a base 10 where you did not write anything. But then given to us, bukan base 10. Given to us, uh, what base? What's the ba value? 2. 2. So you can always introduce a new one which is C. Ataupun in our case, log Base to okay. okay. All right. So let's try A. Eh? Let's try A. So as I mentioned earlier, we have to change the base to base two. So log fifteen 
over log 4 base 2. Okay. And then, what else you can do? Log 2, 15. Okay. We have 5. We don't have 15. So, what makes 15? Log 2, 15. What makes 15? 5 times 3, right? Over log 4. 4 at the upper. 2 to the power of 2. Agree, everyone? 4 is 2 to the power of 2? Agree. Agree. Okay. And then another log property is what you do if you have log M N. Okay, sayang, kalau log M N jadi apa? Dia adalah log M plus log, log M plus log M. N. Okay, regardless whatever uh, base lah. Huh? Uh, so in our case, 5 times 3, so it will become log 2, 5 plus log 2, 3. Okay? Is everyone okay? Yes. All right. Okay, miss. Okay, and then 2, we bring to the front. And we have log 2 base 2 is equals to 1. Okay? And then lastly, we insert the values eh, that we have now. Okay, we insert the values. Log 5, base 2 adalah 2.322 2 plus with 1.585 over 2. Okay, what's the answer everyone? Calculator? Memanglah dia tak bagi guna calculator. But then ni you nak tambah kalau you salah. Uh, eh. uh, dia tak bagi guna calculator kalau you tekan log 15 base 4. Eh. Okay, ni berapa jawapan everyone? 1.9535 1.9535 Okay, sama tak dengan final answer? Check 17, yes 1.9535 And then you can always check uh, If you straight away use the calculator Log 15 base 4 Tahu tak nak tekan log 15 base 4? Oh. Okay, so you will get the same an answer for that Okay, boleh? Boleh. Okay, I have done 17A. I want you to do it yourself for 17B. And I will ask one of the students to show me the working. Hmm. Right after I finished uh, the, the team session. Okay, next. Okay, how about this? Ah, huh? this suka sangat log ni without using table, without using calculator. Eh? So apa lagi kita boleh buat ni? Okay. Ah, sama juga macam tadi. Eh, so kita akan tukar ni semua jadi base ten maybe. Okay, and then we see what we can do from there. Okay. So log twenty five over log 11 and then multiply with okay because semua base ni dia tak sama eh so cikgu nak samakan dia okay kita kena samakan hmm. okay kita tengok apa yang kita boleh buat log 11 over log 32 and then divide. Okay, divide ni sebenarnya apa? Minus, tolak. Tolak. Minus, eh? Sayang, jangan keliru, eh? Log M, kalau function sahaja yang divide, yes, dia akan jadi log M minus log N. Tetapi, kalau log M bahagi dengan log N, dia tak jadi ini, ya? Eh? Tak sah? Tak sama. You tak percaya, you tekan sekarang log 3 bahagi 2 dengan log 3 bahagi log 2. Cuba tekan berapa yang belah kiri? Semua orang, log 3 over 2 atau dengan kata lain log 1.5. Berapa jawapan? 
sama poin 176. Kuat sikit sayang. 0.176. 0.176. Okey, minuan yang belah kanan. Log 3 bahagi buat kurungan and then log 2. Berapa? One point lima lapan. Okay, one point berapa lah? Tengok lah, sama ke? Lain. Okay, lain. So from now on, log and only if the function sahaja, eh, so function dia sahaja yang um, divides dia tak sama dengan log m the whole thing bahagi dengan log n sebab kawan bawah dia ni ada log sedangkan yang ini dia tiada log siapakah yang kita tukar jadi tolak bila dia ada satu log saha sahaja ha ni bila dia ada satu log sahaja okey kalau ini tak boleh tukar jadi atas tak boleh Okey. Tapi maksud cikgu apa lagi yang you boleh buat bila bahagi tengok eh kalau 3/2 bahagi dengan 4 apa you buat? You boleh buat 3/2 bahagi tukar jadi darab tetapi dengan syarat apa? 4 ke? Okey kesayangan semua, kalau cikgu bahagi, cikgu tukar jadi darab Bahagi dengan 4, boleh ke saya buat darab dengan 4? Tak. Tak boleh. Apa yang saya kena buat? Saya kena swap top F4. 1 over 4 sayang. 1 over 4. Okay. So same goes to this. 3 over 1 over 4. So dia jadi apa? Dia adalah 3 divides becoming positive. Boleh bahagi tukar jadi darab dengan syarat top and bottom. You have to swap. So dia jadi 4 over 1. Boleh ke? Boleh. Okay, that's what I want to do lah. Ha? That's what I want to do because I have enough fraction at the top. Okay, yang ini semua I dah buat dia sebagai fraction. Nampak tak ni? Okay, I dah buat dia sebagai fra fraction. So, jadi bahagi tu, okay. Okay, mungkin I tulis dululah supaya you nampak. Tapi later on I nak tukar bahagi tu jadi dah darab. Andu. Bis tukar semua di bis 10. Ah. Okey, bahagi dengan log 5 over log 8. And then apa lagi yang nak buat? Log 25. Okey, 25 ni apa? Dia adalah 5 to the power of 2 kan? Okey, tak apa. Kita yes. buat je dulu. Kita buat je dulu 25. Bahagi dengan log 11 times dengan log 11 bahagi dengan log 32 and then bahagi divide ini tadi kita nak tukar dia divide jadi uh, multiplication bahagi tukar jadi darab dengan syarat kena terbalik terbalik terbalikkan terbalikkan mm -hmm. so sekarang ini dengan ini boleh can cancel nampak tak So our function become simpler. Okay. Tapi kita ada lagi ni. Okay, 25 dengan log 8. Okay, apa kita boleh buat adalah 25 ni adalah apa? Log 5 times 5 ataupun 5 to the power of 2, betul? Betul. Betul. Uh, so you have to think lah of the the Mm, equivalent eh. What is the equivalent values for 25? Because kalau boleh cikgu nak 5. Because later on I akan nak cancelkan dengan log 5. Ah, Memang nak kena fikir macam tu eh. Log 5 ataupun dengan kata lain you boleh buat. Okay macam ni pun boleh eh. And then darab dengan 1 over log 32 jadi apa? 2 to power of apa? 2 power of 5. Yes, 2 to power of 5. Multiply with log 8. 8 is basically 2 to power of? 2 to power of 3. 2 power of 3. So, apa yang kita buat at this step adalah find the base, eh? the log. 
bukan base eh um, find log in terms of uh, 2 5 or 3 or 7 eh ha, macam itulah okey so bawah ni ada lagi eh bawah ni ada lagi apa log 5 okey now log properties 2 to the friend because we have m Okay, because we have log b to the power of m is equivalent to m log b. Okay. Alright. So, 2 log 5 times with 1 over 5 log 2 times with 3 log 2 over log 5. Okay, now is there anything that we can cancel? Obviously, log 5 and log 5. And then log 2 and log 2. Is there any calculator needed? To solve this? No eh. So sekarang no. 2 times 3. Everyone 2 times 3 berapa? 6. 6. Over 5. Senang tak sebenarnya log ni? Easy or not? Bolehlah. Bolehlah. <laughs> It's Bolehlah. Spoil. Tapi tak apalah eh. Before ni you tak tahu but now I have shown you. So lepas ni mulai hari dia bagilah macam-macam base pun. You tak ada masalah as long as you ingat the properties. Properties apa? Cikgu kata properties ni apa? Properties apa yang dia pakai di sini? Look. Hmm, memanglah log. Log apa? Log A base B jadi apa? Jadi log A over log B. Nampak tak you all? Uh, Boleh tak lepas ni kalau buat kerja mesti ni. ada mesti ada log properties dekat sebelah you? Boleh tak? Boleh miss. Eh. Hmm. Itu asyik sengit je Andu Okay tak takpelah Alright So I really hope it become clear to you eh, This question 23 Siapa yang tanya tadi Girls kan eh? Yang tanya tadi kan eh? Okay So lagi soalan lain Okay sama eh jawapan kita 6 over 5 Okay, lagi nombor berapa? Okay, I have discussed 23. I have discussed 21. Okay, lagi. Ada yang atas-atas pun boleh kalau nak tanya. 11. Agak-agak nombor 15 ni boleh tak buat? Lagilah boleh. Betul tak? Sebab apa? Dia sama macam soalan yeah. nombor berapa? Number 15 ni, students, it's same like which question? 17. Exactly. Eh? So, you tulis dekat situ, sayang. You tulis 15 is equals to 17. Okay? Uh, since we have discussed 17A, and of course you can do 17B, obviously you can do all the question for number 15. But then if you cannot, if you start, you may discuss with your friends. Or maybe you can private message me. Okay? Uh, you kena selesaikan permasalahan itu. Kalau you tak boleh buat sekarang, mustahil you boleh buat ketika exam nanti. Huh? So, biarlah bersusah dahulu, bersenang kemudian. Okay, lagi. Ha, itu je. Soalan log. Itu saja. Okay. Uh. Miss, can discuss number 22, Miss? 22. Okay, 21 eh. I tengok 21. Kalau 21 dah discuss sebelum ni. Uh, okay, 21 dah discuss sayang. You check my video dekat YouTube. 
Boleh? Boleh? This Boleh. is the working for 21. I have explained. Uh, you cari video, tutorial, tutorial, tutorial part 1. Because dengan you all ni, I buat tutorial part 2. Okay. So, 21, uh, settle. Okay, let's discuss 22. Okay, let's read the question. Given that log 3 base A equals to P, log 7 base A is equals to Q, find the value of log 21A. 21A in terms of P and Q. Okay, dia nak kita cari ini soalan dia. Log 21 base A. So again, eh, again, eh, log A 21. So property siapa yang kita nak guna? Bila cikgu ada satu item sahaja. Kalau I ada equals to 3, I akan tukar log kepada in index 3 to power of B, betul? But then I tak ada equal sayang. This is not an equation. Dia adalah itu sahaja soalan dia. So, dia akan jadi log A base B. You have to use these properties. Why? Plus sebab apa? Plus sebab... You tak boleh, okay, you bukan sahaja jadikan dia base 10, tetapi you jadikan dia base A. Nampak tak? Nampak, Miss. Okay, Nampak. so itu first step yang you could terfikir in your mind. Eh? Okay, so now log A 21 is equivalent to log A over log 20. One base apa? Jangan guna base 10 because we are not given base 10. Tetapi base apa sayang? A. Yes, exactly. Base A. Ah, Jangan you pergi buat base 10. Sampai kiamat pun you tak dapat nak selesaikan soalan tersebut. Eh? Kita kena bergantung kepada soalan yang diber diberi. Okay? Alright. So now log A, A adalah basically 1. Agree everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now 21, what makes 21? What makes 21? 3 times 7 times 3. 3. 3. 3. Exactly. Okay. So what properties that we use? We use log M and is equals to log M. Plus log and okay, so this will be one over log base A seven plus log three base A. Okay, next step one over okay log seven base A Q log three base A. Nampak tak log three base A log three base A apa? Apa ni? P. 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 That's it. Okay. Find the value of log 21 base A in terms of P and Q. So this is our final an answer. Uh, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Senang tak? Yes. Senang. Masya Allah. Eh, ini je lah soalan yang paling susah untuk tajuk log. Eh. Tengok. Ah, uh, number 22, 1 over P plus Q. Oh. So basically semua ni cikgu dah bincang dah. You tinggal apa eh? You tinggal copy je. Uh -huh. Bukanlah cikgu suruh you copy but then you try and then you check your answer. Siap dengan explanation lagi. Boleh semua? Boleh miss. Boleh miss. Boleh miss. Kenanya uh, kelemahan students untuk log ini, menyelesaikan log because they are confused which properties they, they want to use. Which they need to use, right? Am I right? Yes, miss. Okay, yes, so yes. how to solve that? Macam mana nak menyelesaikan masalah itu? 
Banyak gambar latihan. Exactly. Yeah. So you yourself know the answer. You have to do a lot of exercises. You must get used to the question. Dari situ you tahu what you should do. Boleh tak? Boleh Miss. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's it for 22. Okay, what else? One last question. Or maybe last two questions. Okay, lagi nak bincang nombor berapa? Tak apa, tanya je. Kalau I dah discuss, I skip lah. Tapi I rasa soalan log ni mesti I dah buat lah. Um, semua dah buat sayang, semua dah buat. So I leave it to you lagi. Soalan lain? Ada tak nak tanya tak set? At least saya buat satu dengan you all. Which question? 11. 11. Okay, 11. Okay, soalan ni rationalize eh. Uh, I snip tak cukup ni. Okay, rationalize this function. Okay. Kalau dulu sekolah rendah, you belajar uh, daripada improper tukar jadi proper fraction. Uh, bila dah masuk uni, takkanlah nak belajar proper improper fraction lagi eh. So, kita belajar rationalize the... Sorry. Rationalize the function eh. Uh, rationalize the function. Okay. So, apa maksud rationalize? Maksudnya ini, bila disuruh rationalize, maksudnya ini function ni tak rational lagi lah. Kenapa tak rational? Because it has, it has apa? Set on the denominator. So, target kita adalah we want to get rid of the set. Get rid of set. At the denominator. Okay. So, you know. Uh, kita dah belajar, jika diberi A plus set B, okay, kita kena conjugate dengan, conjugate dengan, conjugate tu multiply with lah, eh, multiply with A minus B top and bottom, top and bottom. Okay, so jadinya sekarang ini. Okay, so. Set 7 minus set 5 over set 7 plus 5. Okay, multiply with. Multiply with apa? 7 plus. So, ini jadi my minus 7 minus set 5. Sampai sini semua okay ke? Okay, okay Miss. Miss. So, ini A kita ambil A lah as it is. And then ini B kita ambil lah B as it is. Ah, Cuma yang bertukar hanyalah dia punya operation. Okay, only the operation will be changed. Okay, so ini the tricky part lah. Ah, student kena tahu the properties. Ah, Macam mana kalau set A times set A. Dia akan jadi A. Okay, macam mana kalau set A times set B? Maksudnya kalau ini tiga, ini tujuh. So, dia akan jadi set A, set B. Ah, Tak boleh nak buat apa-apa. Ataupun kalau kita nak share dia dalam satu rumah, boleh. Set A, B. Okay, so that's what we gonna do. Okay, so now one by one. Okay, set seven times set seven. Seven. Boleh? And then 7 times uh, set 5 and then ada negative. So, set 5, set, set, set 7. Uh, I biasa letak nombor kecil kat depan. 
Okay, nombor kecil 5 for 5 is a smaller kan So, I letak kat depan siap-siap Okay, I have done uh, the cross multiply untuk yang first part tadi Okay, sekarang ini dengan ini pula So, negative Set 5 Set 7 Okay, now ini dengan ini pula So, negative negative becoming positive Positive Okay, ini dia dah belajar daripada form 2 Okay, set 5 dengan set 5. Dapat? 5. 5. Okay. Yes, please respond. Eh? Okay, so sekarang cikgu buat yang bawah pula. Set 7 dengan set 7. So, set 7. And then minus dengan set 5, set 7. Okay, and then plus dengan, okay, ni sekarang ini dengan ini, dengan ini pula. Plus dengan set 5, set 7. Dan memang inilah yang sepatutnya. Barulah bila dia boleh cancel, barulah sebenarnya you are using the correct, um, you are choosing the correct uh, conjugate. And memang itulah yang sepatutnya. Setengah orang dia congak je. Dia dah tahu tengah tu boleh cancel. Dia terus buat setujuh, setujuh darab. And then plus minus akan cancel, set five dengan set five. Ha, dia tinggal buat itu je. Minus dengan five. Okay. Okay, next step. Okay, 7 plus 5, 12. Minus with, ah, ini trickiest part. Eh? Ni trickiest part. Tengok betul-betul. Kalau you tak nampak, you jadikan ini sebagai U. You jadikan ini sebagai U. Okay, kalau cikgu ada satu U, tetapi yang negatif lah eh. Negatif U. Okay, ini eh. 7 tolak U, tolak U tambah 5. Jadi apa you all? So 12 tolak 2 U. Okay. Okay, what is my U? My U is apa? Set 5, set 7. Set 7. Ha, yang I let tadi. So dia akan jadi 12 minus 2, set 5, set 7. Uh, dia ada dua kali U. What is our U? Set 5, set 7. Okay, over dengan 7 minus 5 dapat 2. Okay, 2 dengan 2 boleh cancel tak? Boleh? Ah, yeah. uh, Ataupun you factor out pun lagi nampak juga. Uh, student ni kadang bila dia cancel, semua benda dia cancel. So, I selalu suggest my student biar dia factor dulu tu keluar. So, 12 factor out 2 jadi 6 minus. Bila 2 dah factor keluar, tinggallah set 5, set 7 saha Sahaja over dengan 2. So, 2, 2 cancel out. So, this is your answer. Ataupun 6 minus 7 times 5, 35 square root. Ah, Mana-mana satu jawapan are acceptable. Clear? Clear, Miss. Clear, Miss. Sama tak final answer? Sama. Tu tadi nombor berapa tadi soalan rationalize? Nombor 11 kan? 11. Yes, exactly. 6 minus set 35. Okay, lagi soalan lain. Okay, so how are you guys doing so far? So far so good? Yes, please. Susah sangat ke? Susah sikit ke? Macam mana? Susah sikit lah, Miss. Kurang yakin yang sikit. Tak apa lah. Slowly eh. Ha, practice make perfect. Yang penting kena practice eh. If you do not practice, it will be harder eh. Ha, it will be even harder. Ha, bila you dah faham sikit, you terus buat. You jangan tinggal lama lah. Lama, otherwise you will forget. Huh? Uh.
Okay, if you don't have any question, I think we will stop here. Okay, please check my videos, my previous videos for tutorial. Okay, tomorrow I want to discuss um, extra exercises. Make sure you try. Uh, you try all log question, especially yeah, log question for extra exercises. Tomorrow I will select two or three of you to share your working and your progress. Okay, please do not upset me as what you did today. Okay. Uh, so, I really hope you improve by time. Mm -hmm. Today, must practice. Malam ni. Okay. Alright. I think that's it for today. Okay, please on your camera. Sekali. Okay, everyone, the whole class. Okay, Fairoz. Okay, kita ada Aina. Kita ada mm -hmm. Hani, Irfan. Irfan okay tak? Okay, Miss. Irfan boleh janji dengan cikgu, improve. Boleh, Miss. Okay, Akasha, can you promise me that you will try the extra exercises? Boleh, Miss. Lukman, how about you? Boleh, Miss. Lincoln? Lincoln okay tak? Okay. Wah, macam dekat bilik hotel lah, Lincoln. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, thank you so much for participating. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, sekejap. Cikgu buat together mode. Okay, ini saja yang on camera. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. Okay, ah, ada betul. Okay, lagi. Okay, senyum. Okay, one, two, three. Alamak, cikgu pejam mata. Lagi sekali, eh. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss.